Hey there, Samantha Garrett here, and today I wanna to show you how you can get notifications via email when someone submits a Google form. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can set it up so just you get a notification, so you can kind of like subscribe to the emails for form submissions, or you can use a little add-on so that you can get other people to get notifications as well, including the person that submitted the form. So let's dive in now and have a look at these two options. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the nice simple one, which is under the responses section here in a Google form. And up the top where you see these three little dots, our little more menu, in there you will see an option that says get email notifications for new responses. And using this is as simple as ticking it, turning it on, and it is done. So what will happen now, every time someone completes that form, submits that form, you will get an email notification about that submission. Now, it'll only come to you because you're the person that's come into the form and turned that on, but anyone else that has collaborator access to the form, so um, other people that can access this same view of the form, they can come in and do the same thing. So if you've got some colleagues perhaps that also wanna get notifications, they can do come in here and use that exact same setting. So it's a per user setting. Now, what about though, if you wanna configure email notifications for multiple people at the same time, or maybe even you want the person that submits the form to get an email notification. So to do that, we have to use an add-on for Google Forms. Now we get to add-ons initially up here where we've got the three little dots and we'll see down the bottom here, the section called get add-ons. So add-ons are just little extra tools that we can put into Google Forms to add more functionality. Now in some cases, particularly if you're using Google Forms at work or at school, these might be disabled for you. So I'll show you in a minute how you might tell that. Um, but if we jump in here to get add-ons, You'll see it's gonna open up in just a second, the Google Workspace Marketplace, and we can search in here for different add-ons. So I'm gonna come up to the top and just search for notifications. We'll type that in, and I'm not gonna choose any particular one. I'm just gonna push enter because I wanna show you a couple of options. All right, so you'll see here, um, I've got one called form notifications installed and that's what I'm gonna show you. Um, now this is actually one by Google, so it's actually not a third party one, like it's Google's own add-on for forms. I love that one. I also really like email notifications for form by, forms by digital inspiration. So either of these are great. I'm just gonna show you this one though today, the form notifications. Now, if you've not used it before, you would just click on it and it would come up and it would give you an install button here. So you see I've got an uninstall button because I'm already using it, but you would see install. And you wouldn't typically see admin install unless you're an admin, so you would normally see install. Now, if you don't have access to add-ons, you may see that button grayed out, but more likely what will happen is you'll click on it and then it will bring you up an error that you're not allowed to install it. So if that's the case, you'll have to stick with the first option I've given you. Um, but if you can install it, you would just click install, follow the prompts. So I'm gonna jump out of here because I've already got it installed and wanna show you how to use it. So once it is installed, you will then have this little puzzle piece icon up here. And if you've used add-ons before, you may already see it. If you haven't, it will appear once you've installed your first add-on. So I'm gonna click on that and you'll see I've got one here, form notifications that we just installed. And it's gonna bring up this little box. And sometimes, like what's happened here, you don't see anything useful, you just see help, right? So when that's the case, we're gonna close that, we're gonna refresh our form. So I love that it's done this in the live demo for you. <laughs> and we're gonna go back to that puzzle piece, we're gonna go back into it, and all being well, yes, now we have open. So don't panic if that happens for you, it's just a little bug with a lot of add-ons and you can just do a refresh. So I'm gonna click open now. And you'll see down the bottom right corner, we have this little configuration box. So we've got two options. You can notify on form responses, which is to send notifications to yourself or others that someone has submitted the form, or you can do a thank you email, which sends an email to the person that submitted the form saying thank you or giving them extra information. So I'm gonna come up here just to the first one, notify and form responses. You'll see my email address is there and I can come in and put other people's emails in here. So I can set it up for multiple people at once. Now, the other thing I really love is with this one, you can choose how often you want notifications based on 
uh, the number of responses. So at the moment, it's gonna send notifications after every 10 responses. So you won't get 10 separate emails, you'll get one after 10. Um, if you wanted separate emails for each response, you would just change that to one, um, or you might want two or five or whatever. So this gives you a bit more control than that other setting, even if you're just using it for yourself. So once you've got that set, we'll just click save configuration. Now, if you do wanna send an email as well to the person that submitted the form, you can toggle on thank you email and you can come down here and choose uh, what form field will show their email address. So because I'm, I'm not collecting them automatically, that's not an option. But if I've got a particular email address field in my form, I can select that there. Now I don't, so I would need to have that before I actually use this, of course. And then I can put in a subject for the email they will get and some email, some body text as well. So that's just a nice little way to send a bit of a thank you email. Um, if you don't want to use that, we just toggle it off. Click save and we are all done. Alrighty, so there's two options that you can use to get email notifications on Google Form submissions. Now, I particularly love this when I have a form that doesn't get a lot of submissions because I don't have to remember to go in and actually check if someone's filled it out. I get a notification when they do. So I don't use it so much when I'm expecting a lot of responses in a short period of time because I will then be going in and checking them. But particularly good if it's some kind of registration form for an event that only runs every now and then or just someone with some requesting some information or making an inquiry, particularly useful for that. Alrighty, so if you like this video, feel free to give us an old like there um, on YouTube and you can comment as well if you wanna share what you're using this for, if you've got any questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can get more tips and tricks for Google Forms and other Google tools. That's it for now, see you next time.